So the statement we have, which I'll quote because I'd be proud to have stated it, he said, uh, that's a plane in its own right because Z is not constrained. Okay? Which means that all the points on this line or directly above or below this line are in the plane. Okay, so we'll draw the line again. Okay, so that line is in that way to draw it. It's in the plane, the XY plane, right? It says every point above and below because X for any point directly above any point on this one, well, if it's directly above a point here, the x and y coordinates haven't changed, have they? And x is still equal to 2y. So you can just do all the points above and below this. So I just sketch it like this. I draw a couple of lines that appear to be parallel to this, and then I draw a bunch of vertical lines here, and somehow indicate that this is in the plane. And there's a picture. So this is a line through the origin. And it's a one-dimensional subspace of R3. It's one-dimensional because it can be described by one free variable. And for another reason that we'll get in you know, probably next class. Okay? Related to this thing called basis. It's describable by one free variable. Okay? In other words, my variable could be T. And then I just call this y is going to be t, z is going to be 0, and x is going to be 2t. Mm -hmm. So now I've only got one parameter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Down here I need two parameters. I could use t and 2t, mm -hmm. but then I have to have something for z, like maybe s. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a two-dimensional subspace. Two free variables or two parameters required to describe this. Okay? And of course, this is a one dimensional subspace of R2, and R2 itself is a two dimensional subspace. Now we'll get into dimension and we'll define it more rigorously, although that, that could serve as a definition. We want to define it in terms of what's called a basis, a set of spanning vectors, a set of vectors such that you can add multiples of this one, this one, and this one to get any vector in the space. But you can't do it with any smaller subset of vectors. And you're right to the point where you can understand that because there are problems in the test, whether you know it or not, that ask you to do exactly what you have to do to, to prove that. Okay? Very good.